Ahoy, mateys! It's the old captain. I don't know if I should ever introduce my video like that ever again, but here we are. True North Pure Energy Seltzer. Um, this one happens to be the grapefruit lemonade flavor. I'm not sure if you could have seen that because it's right at the tippy top inside this kind of fold that's coming up from the can. It's kind of a weird design in my opinion. I suggest it should be down here in the middle so everybody can see it. I'd say just move everything up a little bit. But yeah, True North Seltzer. It's been recommended to me by two people. One of them being friend of the channel, Kyle. Um, it's an energy seltzer. Kind of... You know, kind of new to the scene, I suppose, the, these energy seltzers. There's a few of them. The SST one I recovered a few, uh, I guess, a few months ago at this point. <laughs> True North. True North Strong and Free. That's in the Canadian National Anthem. I'm not Canadian, but I just happen to know that. Um, got some kind of, like, map lines here. And there's also that weird grip I talk about in some videos. Like, the, the, the map elevation lines or whatever... They're kind of, like, grippy. <laughs> I'm going to grip my true north while I hike or something. Maybe that's what it's trying to be. Pure energy seltzer and zero. X. Zero. Or is that, um, what do they call those things in other countries? Uh, uh, cross, I guess. I don't know why they call it cross, because a cross is a T. Anyway, um, artificial colors. Artificial flavors, colors. Oh, man, this is all sorts of weird Sugar sweetener calories, so that's all the zeros, but artificial flavors is like taking up two lines, but it's like zero artificial, zero flavors. <laughs> Could you imagine? This is no flavor, and zero colors, and zero sugar sweeteners and calories. You see, see the pattern there, it's just like, it's silly in my opinion, it's silly. Energy for the journey, well, days of journey, right? Um... Immunity support, oh boy. Plant-based energy blend. I don't see a little plus or anything there, so maybe this is evaluated by the FDA. Uh, Plant-based energy blend, okay, cool. Non-GMO, all right. <laughs> Gluten-free. Simple ingredients help increase alertness, concentration, support immunity, and reduce fatigue without calorie sweetener, or sugar. Um, yeah, cool. Let's see what, what's in it in a minute. 0% juice, uh, serving size is one can, and there's zero calories, zero grams fat, zero milligrams sodium, zero grams carbs, zero sugar, zero added sugar, zero protein, you got 25% of your vitamin A, 80% of your vitamin B, niacin, and B3 rather, 25% uh, of your vitamin C, and 80% of your vitamin B6, oh, there's also B12, 80%, pantonic acid, B5, 80%, and zinc, 50%, so already this is like got more vitamins and stuff in it than your typical energy drink would because I hardly ever see zinc on energy drinks. Um, watch the Simpsons thing to find out why zinc is important. Um, ingredients include carbonated water, natural flavor, organic Panix ginseng extract. That's probably why this thing costs so much. Got all this organic nonsense in it. Uh, organic caffeine from green coffee beans. Zinc glucinate. I wonder why that is such a big deal. Maybe I'll put that in the blog post. Azorbic acid, uh, organic green tea extract, niacinamide, citric acid, decalcium pantotate, vitamin A palinate, pyridoxine hydrochloride, organic guarana extract, organic garusa extract. I guess that's related to the guarana. I suppose we'll see that in later. And cyanocobalamin. True North Beverage. Are they out of Canada? Is... No. Uh, Michigan. Ah, close enough. Um, yeah. Organic plant-based energy blend. So we got, you know, the golf coffee beans, we got the tea, and we got the guarana, and I guess guarusa, I suppose that's... Um, yeah, there it is. It says it right there. Uh, yeah. Alright. So, organic green thing. It's healthy for you, I suppose. Uh, healthier. I suppose none of this is healthier if you're putting your body in haywire mode from drinking caffeine. Yeah, there wasn't going to be any color, but, you know, I had to be sure pouring it in there. Smell. Wow. That smell is quite potent. You know how I say that? I don't really smell things from a few feet away. I definitely smell some sort of citrus smell from this few feet away. 
kind of indistinguishable, to be quite honest. It just smells like, oh, are you making lemonade in there? Kind of thing, yeah. It's got no sugar in it, so I'm just supposed to... What did it do for... Did it have sucralose? Does it have any sweet in there? Hmm. Interesting. This is going to be very tart if it has no sweetener in it. Up close, it definitely smells of grapefruit. Wow, that is quite authentic. I will give it that. That That's like you cut up a grapefruit. That's what it smells like. Yep. And you kind of can smell the, you know, kind of tea scent, the green tea scent as well, like lingering underneath of it. That's not so bad. Let's have a sip. Huh. Well, I am surprised, uh, delighted even. First sip you get, it wasn't really much of anything. I was like, all right, well, this is the energy seltzer. You know, those things aren't super strong out of the gate anyway. Then, like, you get that citrus tingle. And by golly, it is grapefruit indeed. It's not orange, it's not lime, maybe a little bit of lemon, but definitely grapefruit. It tastes quite authentic, even though it is not, you know, grapefruit juice, I don't know. Kind of lingers, it is a bit weak, I will say. It's a bit weak in flavor, it's not going to be like, wow, yeah, this is a light soda or something, no. It's, it's just a little hint that'll give you, like, you know, just enough to satisfy that kind of, like, you know, sort of sweet tooth, sort of, you know, I want a citrus kick. It, it makes it less boring water flavor. Now, you see, it is a little less translucent than others, other waters. This is, you can't see through that at all. Um, then it kind of gets coffee, tea, that kind of herbal taste that those things typically have. Like, very earthy, but, like, you know, more herbal in, in this regard. And that kind of goes into the aftertaste, but the aftertaste doesn't linger too much. So, like, if you're not a fan of that kind of flavor, you're not going to be too put off by this, thankfully. Yeah, this, I'm surprised, this beats SST, that, that, that energy seltzer, by a lot. This should be the benchmark for that kind of thing like the energy seltzers and that's a that's a good compliment to you true north but yeah you didn't compromise flavor too much it's still almost sort of sweet enough even though i don't see that there's any sugars or sweeteners in it yeah it's right there zero sugars and sweeteners yet it was still fairly sweet enough and it didn't taste overly medicinal or anything so by golly true north you know what you're doing here I'm surprised. I I didn't really have a lot of faith in this because, you know, energy seltzer, oh boy, it's going to be just, like, weak. But now, um, flavor-wise, good. I don't really taste the lemonade part. I did say maybe lemon in the seltzer. That's mostly because the citrusy flavor is a little bit ambiguous, but I could definitely say grapefruit is there. Um, is it all the way there? That's up for you to decide, but I don't think it's all the way there. I think there was a little bit of lingering of other citrus fruits. Yeah, I'm surprised. I, I'm definitely surprised by this drink. I would probably buy other flavors for this just to see how they taste. You, you know, there's a lot of things that sound like this thing is not going to have what it's going to have, but it did. So I'm going to give this my cat meowing when I come home from work out of red, not during videos, you hear that?